Hey everyone, Mitchell from MitchellGould.com, and in today's video, we're going over LinkedIn ads reporting. Uh, we'll review the reporting dashboards that I'm using for my clients and the tools I'm using and how I go about the reporting and communicating with my clients. So uh, the tool that I'm using to pull in the LinkedIn ads data is Looker Studio. In order to do that with Looker Studio, you have to use a connector. So I'm using Porter Metrics as my connector. Uh, a common one that people use is Supermetrics, uh, but I'll go over to why I'm using Porter Metrics. But first, we can go ahead and just take a look at the dashboard and how it's laid out. I was previously using Agency Analytics. This is a, a popular tool that I know a lot of people are using for their marketing agencies, but there were, there were a few features that were missing that I really like to have that aren't available in agency analytics and also their, their pricing tiers aren't what I'm looking for right now. Essentially, they have like the freelancer tier, which ends up being around $60 per month, and then the agency tier, which ends up being $180 a month. The agency pricing model didn't work for me right now, but the main drawback was the features. So I looked into Looker Studio and in order to get data into Looker Studio that's not Google Ads like related or Google related is you need a connector which essentially just pulls the, the the data from like Facebook or LinkedIn ads and then it helps put it into Looker Studio without you having to do any like technical work. So I found Porter Metrics on YouTube they're a small company and what I'm loving about them right now is they have great customer support. They've helped me with a couple of my dashboards and figuring out a couple of issues. Very quick to respond. Yeah, just really easy to work with. And then for their pricing, it's a lot more affordable than some of the other connectors. Right now I'm on the Teams account, which is $40 per month when you're on monthly billing. And you can have up to five accounts with any of their 15 available data sources. So like Supermetrics is a bit more expensive because at least how I understand it, if you want to run LinkedIn ads, it's only available if you want to get data for LinkedIn ads, it's only available on the core package, which is $240 per month. Uh, and you can see LinkedIn ads is here. If you're in one of these cheaper tiers, if the, the data source you're looking for isn't listed, uh, you'll need to go up a tier. So I haven't used them. I can't say much about their their customer service, but I know they're a lot bigger. So sometimes, you know, bigger companies are a little slower to like respond and help on kind of like a, a more like personal level. And Porter Metrics has been very, very quick and very easy to work with, with any issues that have come up for me. So yeah, going back into my Looker Studio dashboard, the main thing that I wanted and I decided to use Looker Studio is I like these performance over time charts. So where you can have your metrics at the top in the columns and then you can have in your, your rows the by time. So I have like a by month view, by year view, by day view. And then I have all the metrics that I currently need for performance monitoring. I can see the video views and you know what percentage of the video people are watching, the cost per video completion, and just uh, details that will help me with you know uh, communicating the strategy and the performance to the client. Um, and then I also have other charts here um, by other segments. So I have you know performance by campaign um, with my taxonomy. I can you know understand the different segments we're running here so we can get more granular and report on performance here and compare performance between these campaigns i have a creative view which is very helpful for just seeing how creatives are performing against each other and the overall performance of them i really like this view that uh, i've been able to create in Looker studio and finally i have demographics data here so this is a, a great thing to look at this is again all just pulled in from linkedin ads and it's a lot easier to view in here than in LinkedIn ads. So when you're looking at performance, you can find areas, you know, different segments. Is there a job function that's performing well over the other ones? Do we need to break that out, create specific creatives for that job function? Is there a job function that's not performing as well? Can we remove that or just different things we can test? And we can look at that for, you know, job title, seniority, company, or, you know, what specific companies are getting the impressions and clicks. Can we use that for other strategies, cold outreach or like ABM marketing? So all this data helps you look at performance and help you, you know, determine if the current strategy is working or if you need to pivot or, you know, what things you can test next. Um, so yeah, this Looker Studio has been, you know, 
a really great thing. My clients are, are really liking it. And the way I've been communicating it to them is through uh, weekly Loom videos. So I've seen other agencies and other people online who take this approach and I'll do a quick five to 10 minute video that I, I have it sped up so it's a little bit quicker for them. And I just go over what we're seeing in the account and what potential things that we can test or do next, you know, what are the next steps? And my clients have been really liking that. That's how I'm communicating this. And I'm also giving them access so they can view these reports on their own time. So yeah, that's the dashboard I'm using. Make sure to subscribe because um, I'm gonna continue to refine this a dashboard is reporting and I'll share updated videos and in the future of how I'm using it and potentially um, I'll create a template for it. But if you are interested in creating something similar, um, I would suggest, you know, using Porter metrics. They, the other thing that they really push is they do have a lot of different templates, like pre-made templates that you can use. And, um, they can even help you out with that a little bit. I will put a link in the description for them, um, for a trial. It will be affiliate link, just a uh, full disclosure there, but, um, yeah, I'm using them uh, and they've been really great to work with. So, um, I plan on continuing using them and, so let me know if you have any questions about that. Uh, I'm gonna continue to post videos on this and if I have any more like reporting tips and what I'm seeing working well, um, I'll put them in the channel. So make sure you subscribe for that and thanks for watching and have a great day.